Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I like the explosive one. Oh, let's start the timer. Budding, uh, dude. So, you know, there's a there's like a war going on over there with Russia and Ukraine, right? <laughs> and, uh, and you know, there's... there's Matter of fact. Like, there's, uh, okay. you know, like there's a lot of sanctions being imposed on the Russians and the Russian people are having some hard times over there, right? Which isn't their fault that their leader decide they want to go attack, whatever. Fair enough. So uh, there's a... There's a new uh, car coming out, a, R- a Russian car. Oh no! And uh, it's 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 generating some buzz. It's it's called it's Otto Vaz's Lada Granta Classic. Hell yeah! Okay. And uh, it's priced at uh, six hundred seventy-eight thousand rubles, which turns out to be about twelve and a half thousand U.S. I mean, even with the recent drop in default on their loans. It's yeah, yeah, dude. But so, like, this is how much it costs American, right? But here's it, – it's really about what it doesn't have. What it doesn't have. This car, it has no airbags. Okay. It has no anti-lock brakes. Oh. It has no electronic stability system. No. It has no pretensioners to make seat belts work properly. It has no GPS, and it has an engine that complies with emission standards from 26 years ago. Oh man! So you couldn't even get you couldn't even get an eject. And and the reason for all that is, uh, I think it's because of, like all the sanctions. They like they they don't have all that stuff, so yeah. they're just like, yo, we'll put out a car as cheap as f, but like no good luck. Airbags is kind of nuts. Who would pay <laughs> that much money for anything? I mean, you said it was twelve thousand dollars. That's actually pretty cheap for yeah. a brand new car. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a death box. <laughs> no airbag, seatbelt don't work. Can't stop your brakes from locking up. Like, holy I mean, shit. look, hey, look. If you're in Ro- if you're in Russia, twelve twelve k or how many rubles? Six hundred seventy eight thousand. I don't know if that's a lot of rubles. I don't either. I mean, it's twelve thousand dollars, so it has to be a decent amount, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess I don't know what, the, what how how much like a coke is in yeah, rubles, right? Need something for scale, right? I mean, yeah, banana. Russia, how much is a banana in rubles? Yeah, exactly. If you're in Russia, either way, that still sounds like a pretty decent price for a car. Yeah, so. yeah, and I mean, like, and to be completely honest, I mean, I've been driving around for a long time, and I've never used my airbags. <laughs> so, Thank you. Or my seatbelt prop. I mean, uh, so do you really yeah. need it? I've like, never, yeah, I've never had to use my airbag. I got or a my seat belt. GPS on my phone, so I don't need the GPS. Yeah. Emissions. Who cares about? I mean, yeah, but that's that's kind of fun. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. About I mean, why are they're all just like, oh, the world's <laughs> dying? They're like, let's just put pure smog out of your car. Bro, look, the, the planet will be fine when we're gone. <laughs> George Carlin said it best, man. You can find that uh that bit by George Carlin. The planet will be just fine. Oh, yeah. Once it kills us off, it'll get right back to where yeah, it was. Yeah, the planet is going to be here before we were here, and it's going to be here yeah. after we were here. Well, see, the funny, the, the funny, ironic, I guess, thing about, about global warming is like, yeah, yeah, it sucks for the planet, but it's I, I, I kind of think it's the planet's way of trying to kill off us. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. like the planet's defense system. Like, yeah. that's, it's like we're overpopulated and we're destroying resources and the planet is like, something's invading us and we need to clear it out. Like, yeah, I mean. We're the parasite. Right, okay. exactly. Like, I mean, not saying like COVID was created by the earth, but like pandemics and heat and all these things are. I mean, it's a product of us depleting stuff. You know? Right. But, you know, it's like it's. The, yeah, like you, they show like, the, like look at old cities. People, there was millions of people there. Whatever, even when COVID started, lockdown for like three weeks, like animals were coming back. Things, you know, it's like the animals and like <laughs> the plants and healing. stuff will. Yeah, dude, it'll overrun a city in in like a year or two. It'll be all covered in plants and it'll break it down. And- I saw a comment on Reddit that uh, one person says that humans are innately evil. And the planet would be better without us. I and, mean, and then I saw a comment underneath that 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 totally debunked that statement because I was totally feeling that first statement. Like, yeah, I could guess that humans are kind of inherently evil. Um, but it was like, w- what is better off exactly? Like, does the planet really have a state of being better off necessarily? Because even if the ozone layer were gone, the planet's gonna it's gonna persist. Like the the idea of better off is always perceived as better off for humans. So right, yeah, would it be better off for animals if we weren't here? Probably. But the I don't I don't know if the impact necessarily that we're having on the planet is on a grand enough scale where it would be better off. It would change, but change is kind of like 
perspective. Like, we aren't destroying the planet. We're destroying what's on the surface of the planet, but the planet's not... We're not destroying the planet. Oh, I get what you... Yeah, because, like, the heart of the planet is way underground. It's, like, everything that, like, it's... it's yeah, but we're... I mean, like, we're not chipping away at the Earth and, like, disintegrating rocks and, like, just, like, actively destroying the planet. We're changing what's on the surface, but the planet itself... We're destroying the surface level of the planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we're not even necessarily destroying it. We're just, like, using resources at a crazy pace. Yes, unless Russia decides to take, like, billions of tons of dynamite, drill to the center of the Earth, and plant that dynamite there and then blow the planet up making essentially turn it into like chunks and asteroids we ain't destroying the planet that's true i guess i mean we are like doing stuff like fracking and drilling for oil and things like that but like that's so minor though like this planet has been hit by an asteroid yeah that but, wiped out the dinosaurs right and it's still here right oh yeah yeah absolutely but so it's interesting fracking ain't doing it <laughs> well but here here i guess i never thought of it like this you know so, you know, obviously we're using a lot of the resources, and some of the resources are becoming scarce. Yeah. But I think it's kind of, it, it speaks volumes for the human species that we have, like, dug into the soil and found, like, oil. And been like, what is this thing? What can you do with it? And what yeah. can you do this? Oh, create this. You can create this. You can create this. You can create this. Oh, use these nanoparticles to do this. And here's this quartz that yeah. we found, and we can make a watch with that. And it's like... Bro, like it's very amazing, dude. If you think <laughs> about it, like it started out with just like clay bricks, and now we have skyscrapers like in Dubai that look like like pterodactyls and shit. Right, exactly, like, dude. And like, yeah, you find like we if, took gold from the earth and we turned it into a computer device that has all some total of the earth's knowledge that we can put into our pocket. Right, we create electricity. To, like, like we har- – it's just so nuts. Harnessed like, electricity, yeah, not created. Yeah, but, like, yeah, we harness like, – it's just so funny to think that, like, you think about, like, when the settlers were here or the, or the yeah. indigenous peoples and all of that. Like, it's yeah. just people with, like, crude tools and, like, crude shelters and, like, they cre- figured out how to create fire and, like, hunt animals and do whatever. And then now we have, like, cars and planes and yeah. motorcycles. And, took, like, it took a black liquid from the ground and turned it into something that can shoot you in outer space. Right. Ex- dude, that is Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. That is... It, it is. The planet, the planet has given us all the tools, man. It's really crazy. And it's crazy how we came to a lot of these... Like, and we're still, like just manipulating these same materials because nothing's new on this. Yeah. Planet. Yeah. We're not finding any new stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're still manipulating these same materials and we're trying to create cures for diseases. And that's the other part that's nuts too, dude. It's yeah. like our technology is just getting faster and better as, as people learn. Hum- humans are a remarkable species, but it does seem as like a lot of the bad eggs who just like don't have, any recompense about taking advantage of others yeah. tend to rise to the top and they tend to get into power and then they tend to pervert the true nature yeah. and, or will of the many. And, and you know, and it's, it's, but it's like, it's like the law of averages, man. Right. <laughs> like, um, I was talking about this with something like, it was like, you know, back in the day there was less people. So it was less likely that someone was going to fly off the handle. Right. <laughs> there was less stuff going on. There was less, be, you know, because it was do you, like. Do you think back in those times people were more chill, or do you think well, there's, everybody... there's less people? Yeah. So, so you you're more accountable. I think the amount of, and you're so disconnected, <clears throat> and your communities were so small that like if you're the guy that goes around and peeps in people's windows, you're labeled the peeping window guy, and you got to like literally leave. That that's true. And then people, the thing I have about like early humans is that like i feel like murders were a lot more commonplace and like they would usually just put place the blame on somebody with like little to no proof or evidence yeah probably or not, forensics yeah. um and i just feel like people got away with a lot more shit and we didn't have like twitter or police message boards or anything so i feel like it'd be like oh my husband got killed it'd be like oh, well sorry well, well yeah into it. it was i mean think about it back in the day man like it was it was a lot harder to get caught for a crime they didn't mm-hmm. have forensics yeah. you could literally like if you were willing to travel 4 hours away to go commit a crime mm-hmm. and then go back to your homestead the mm-hmm. chances of you being caught slim to none exactly people bring up jack the ripper and you got to realize is that this is in a time where they didn't have like any way of really getting information back and forth besides word of mouth. Mm-hmm. And this is a well-known serial killer. There were other ones. Oh, absolutely. That just didn't get around. Oh, there's tons of people that uh, I'm sh- I guarantee you there's serial killers today that 
no, they haven't made the link that they're all connected. Because you find mm. people dead and don't know who did it. You find, you know, it's like, yeah, probably. You, you know, it's people are. We know about so many. There's a lot we don't know about. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's those people who get arrested and they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, I killed like 20 people. Yeah, but for even back then for one's legacy to make it to today where that's a commonplace name. Yeah, that's you pretty were, He got away with a lot. Yeah, right? So, anyways, that's all time we have today's episode. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com. We do things there. That's where you can subscribe for Jonas. DNA. Oh, we out.